Let's understand what is a difference between a forward preface and an introduction. So let's say you have any of the books. Now when you have any of the books, you usually go through the introductory pages. So in the introductory pages, you would find terms like preface, you would find terms like forward, and then you also have introduction. Usually students are confused what are these, so we'll have a quick understanding of what actually is the difference between the three terms. Forward is something which is not written by the author. So it is written by an expert in the field who usually gives it a kind of stamp for approval that this is an authentic work in this field and is done by a reputed person who has a knowledge in that field. So that is usually forward. Most of the times this forward is used for the purpose of marketing. The next important is preface. Now preface is something which is written by the author itself and it explains book as a book. What does that mean? It simply means that what was the inspiration that led you to write a book? What was uh, the scenario that motivated you to write something? And then it also talks about acknowledgement, your thanksgiving to those who have helped you in your work. So that is what is preface. Introduction is different from preface. It is again written by the author. Now except forward, everything would be written by the author. Introduction is written by the author, but here what is in the book is explained it's not about the book but within the book so the contents of the book are explained in summary and what all would be covered in the book are explained so that is what is introduction introduction has a kind of holistic view about the content more for an academic perspective so that is a major difference between the three terms a quick recap of the summary again so forward is written by a person other than an author expert in the field who puts a kind of stamp for approval mainly for the purpose of marketing preface is written by the author which explains how the inspiration was drawn, why he started to write this work and whom all he wants to give a th uh, provide thanks or acknowledge. The next is introduction. Introduction is a quick understanding of the contents of the book, what all is written in the book, the themes under which the book is being categorized and it is meant for an academic perspective. So that is the major difference. So whenever you are reading a book, you might be coming across these terms. So don't get confused. Here we have the simple understanding. We will be covering the clarifying concepts class, the confusing concepts in the upcoming sessions as well. So stay tuned for many more updates. Have a wonderful day ahead.